Next, we have next item that is uh, data turnover issue. Data turnover issue is very similar to data turnover issue. Data turnover issue we are focusing on credit sales and datas. In credit turnover ratio, we will be focusing on credit purchases and credits. So if the ratio is going to be very low, it means you are taking a lot of time to pay your credits. And if the ratio is very really high, you are making fast settlement of your credits. If you are making fast settlement of your credits, obviously that goodwill or that good name you will carry in the market, you will get benefit from other suppliers. But if you are going to delay the payment to your suppliers and if it is going to reflect in the lower credit turnover ratio, then that would reflect very badly on your credit and you may not be able to get products on credit from your suppliers and that would eventually affect your relationship with your bankers also. Okay, that's about credit turnover ratio. Then also about uh, credit payment period, which we technically call as uh, average payment period. So how long you take uh, to pay your credit and that is very simple, like uh, the same formula. Here, if my average credit is one lakh and six lakh, and if my monthly credit purchases is one lakh, then you will have average payment period as one month, three, six months. So if a banker sees that you are paying Within one month, the bankers will be happy, and some of the suppliers who are analyzing your credit payment period, they'll also be happy because you have a practice of paying within a period of one month. But if you're going to take of six months, both the bankers and the suppliers will try to run away because you are the guy who do not pay on time. Okay, so that's about working capital turnover issues.